Okay, cellist, this is the Dance Macabre. It's uh, originally by Sanson, and it's an arrangement here by Carrie Lane Grisel. I'm going to go over briefly the a couple of places where we're in position or if we have an important part. So right now, I'm going to go where he turns to Arco. This is, um, oh, gee, this is measure 49. Measure 49. My, God, my numbers got cut off. Here we go. This is the pickup, the last note. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> you can either do it from here. So in 48, and then you can move to here. So you go to fourth position on the B, the last note of 49, or you can go to fourth position on the first note of 50. Okay, so I'm going to do the first note of 50. Here I go. And back to first position. And back to fourth. Okay, so what's important about that is that you're coming down to an extended fourth position, fourth finger, so that you can get the D sharp. Now, moving on, this is um, 57, where you have the forte on the second beat. So that's where I'm going to start. So it's um, staccato. So you got to keep that extension in your hand, extended position. Now it's called a mordant. So you start on the note, you go to the note above, which in this case is a D sharp, and you come right back to the C sharp. So it's just one little wiggle up and back. And I go up to fourth position for the first note of 61. All right, now moving on, we go to 73. I'm going to start on the second beat where the down bow is written. Here we go. And one. And then I'm going to cross over, do the bow lift, and I'm going to play that B right here, fourth position. I'm, I'm all set for it. And I'm going to just stay there. And I'm going to continue in fourth position for the downbeat of 77. Why not? I'm still there. Fourth position. And I'm going to stay there again. Up bow. Now first position. Fourth finger, third finger, first finger, and back to first position. Now I'm going to go to a C sharp again, but this time I'm going to extend. So I'm going to go over that again. This is number 82, measure 82. First position, fourth finger, second position, three, one, back to first. First position, first finger. Now I'm going to extend for the C sharp because I have a D sharp coming up. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to start at the beginning. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, and it goes on like that for 12 measures. Now I'm going to start at the arco because I think you got this. This is measure 24. This is the pickup to 25. One, two. Two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, thirty three. Forty-two. You can bar your finger across the strings. Here comes our melody. Now, if you don't get that mordant, don't worry about it. The 
most important thing is that you're getting the notes. 65, rest, rest, rest. Second page, second finger. 73, lift, cross over, just stay in fourth position, rest. pause really quickly here at 94 why not just stay in half position you play the first a sharp low and then you can just play two for the b because we go back and forth just a couple of times to that a sharp so here's 93 on the second beat that down bow one low one go back to first position right so now 108 this is a tremolo and you want to just be you kind of middle ish so you can get some um, uh, forte on that so one two really press two three and now we're diminuendoing two three Six and fermata, so just watch the conductor and stop, and then bow lift and long two, three, one, two, three, one, two, practice your vibrato. One, two, getting quieter, one, two, and three, and rest. Three. Now I'm going to go to fourth position and because it's quieter. One, two, three. Pizzicato. Rest, rest. Nice job.